Sup everyone and welcome to the Corona channel. It's your boy Chad making what will hopefully become a viral video. Get it? It's a joke. First, just a little disclaimer. I'm doing this from memory. I haven't written a script, so I may say some names or titles wrong. But don't worry, I will put uh, in post uh, the actual names and correct titles on screen. So um, that's all I had to say. And yeah, it finally happened. Global pandemic is on our hands and uh, quite literally. Um, so maybe you're stuck at home because your job is closed or is school or maybe you're not stuck at home but you just want some good recommendations of stuff to play, watch, read, etc. So this video is about my favorite uh, pieces of cultural media relating to the apocalypse more or less. Let's start by the obvious video games. Uh, Deus Ex, of course, is what came to mind first. It's about a, a virus that's uh, killing people and uh, it's also about a lot of conspiracy theories. It's a pretty great game and my um, recommendation if you really want to enjoy the game is to try to talk to everyone, try to read every book, try to, you know, really look at the details because the details, there's lots of attention and work put into the small details and that's what makes this game so good. That's not the only thing that makes the game good, but it contributes a lot in my opinion. So next is, of course, Fallout. Fallout 2 is probably the one that has the best writing and scenario in my opinion uh there was even a game recently that had a lot of praise called horizon zero dawn that had a, a scenario that was really really similar to fallout 2 anyway uh what else of course majora's mask uh it's it <clears throat> majora's mask is gonna be 10 years old no 10, 10 years old 20 years old in a few days and it's it's always good to uh, play Majora's Mask. It's absolute classic, underrated Zelda game in my opinion. I would also advise that you don't play the remake on 3DS. Most Legend of Zelda remakes are really good, especially the Ocarina of Time on 3DS or uh, Wind Waker on the Wii U. But the, a lot of stuff was changed in the remaster of Majora's Mask on 3DS and most people agree that it's not quite as good as the original on Nintendo 64. Um, what else? Pokemon Platinum, of course. In the beginning Pokemon used to be just about some uh, cute creatures that knew how to fight but of course they ramped it up like crazy and in my opinion the most apocalyptic one and also the most interesting one, the, the most balanced i would say um lots of great things about this game it's a little bit underrated and in my opinion the best pokemon game pokemon platinum uh next is a great game that has been kind of slept on called the talos principle uh it's called talos principle nothing to do with skyrim or the elder scrolls it's a reference to the ancient philosopher talos and it is, uh, it's really beautiful. It's a kind of a puzzle game in first person, uh, a lot like Portal. It's, um, yeah, it's very similar to Portal, uh, which would also be a great recommendation, Portal and Portal 2. And lest we forget, Dr. Mario. Next, books. So, of course, the Plague by Camus. Sure. Um, what else? Oh, Heartboil Wonderland and uh, The End of the World by uh, Murakami Haruki. Great book. Not exactly apocalyptic. It's more like these weird, eerie, poetic universes that Haruki Murakami is so good at writing. Um, but it's, it's yeah. Really, 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 really good. Uh, there's uh, there's a lot of stuff by like Ray Bradbury that you probably 
heard about. And of course, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The first book begins with the destruction of the Earth, and the second book is named The Last Restaurant at the End of the World, or something like this. Uh, really, really appropriate, in my opinion. And lest we forget, Happy Days by Samuel Beckett. As for the movies, there's a lot of choice. Some of them may seem obvious. I really want to talk about a movie, post-apocalyptic movie that I really love, called It Was on Earth That I Knew Joy. Really underrated movie. People have slept on it. It's a short movie. It's, I think it's like 20 minutes, something like this. And it's really really great. Uh, the scenario reminds me a lot of the video game Talos Principle. It's quite similar. I hope that's not too much of a spoiler. It's really, really good, really appropriate for uh, this kind of situation. Soylent Green would also work quite uh, well. Underrated movie. The Meaning of Life by the Monty Python. It's not exactly about the apocalypse, but a lot of it is about death, uh, so I think it would work. The Matrix Trilogy, and yes, I do say trilogy because the sequels have really been slept on by some meatheads who thought it was going to be just a cool movie about guns and shit, but I think the sequels, unpopular opinion that I don't give a shit, the sequels are better than the original. Especially Love Matrix Reloaded, but The Revolutions was also really good, in my opinion. As for TV shows, well, of course, the episode uh, Marge in Chains or something like this of The Simpsons, I think it was season 4, episode 20, <laughs> nice, uh, comes to mind. And also the... Um, Boys to Man episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, I don't exactly remember the, the numbers or titles, but I will put them here, of course. And uh, the TV show Chernobyl from last year. Excellent. Not exactly related, but close enough. Maybe it's also the occasion to rewatch Firefly. Just kidding. Uh, but the Doctor Who reboot has a few episodes about the end of the world, the end of the universe, um, especially in the 9th and 10th Doctor era. Adventure Time, of course, the whole Adventure Time is uh, about a post-apocalyptic world, and there are some great episodes that are especially spot on. Um, everything that involves more or less the Lich, especially. And to finish, music. 9.0 Live uh, by Slipknot, great live album, underrated live album, and there's one song that's literally called Sick, and uh, there's of course the great song Disaster Piece, both are at the beginning of the album, of the concert. Disaster Piece has this great chorus that goes, no one is safe. Really appropriate, in my opinion, of course, Progenies of the Great Apocalypse by Dimu Borgir and Putrefaction in Progress by Last Days of Humanity, Made in Heaven by Queen, Air by Ben Folds 5, uh, Blue by Perfect Circle, and There Existed an Addiction to Blood by Clipping which I talked about recently, it was in my top albums of 2019. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to wash your hands. See ya really soon. If you don't die, of course. Peace!